is how to ship a shirt or how to ship a product. So when you're first starting out, you might not know how to do this. It might seem super complicated. So I'm just gonna take you through some of my quick steps that'll get your shirt shipped. Get it done the easy way. So first you have to have the shirts. This is actually the shirt that I'm shipping today. So you have to have your product. Okay, so these are some of my products, just my shirts. This is actually the stock that is left. If you want to grab one of these, check out my previous video and it'll tell you how to get one. Limited edition. So we have our shirts. This is the one I just sold. It's extra large. Make sure it's the right size that the person ordered. So we got that. I have a tag. Um, you don't have to have tags. So I'll just take it like that, clip it on there. That way it's not putting a hole through the shirt or anything and they can easily remove it. So there's our shirt ready to go. The next thing I have are these little poly mailer bags. There's a ton of different ones you can get. Um, you can just look online or look on eBay. I got mine on eBay. Um, you get like a huge pack of them. By the way, this is just like a box with all my stuff. So you can get a huge pack of them. Some of them suck and some of them are good. So I'll try and link the actual ones that I got below in the description. And you can buy the same ones. The next thing you want to do is get any inserts that you have and throw those in there. So there's three white and three black stickers I'm going to throw in. I also have these thank you cards. I'll throw in a couple wristbands. If you're first starting out, I don't recommend the thank you cards or the tags. Um, just because the paper is expensive, printing it is expensive like anything, you can save a little bit. I would recommend trying to save on. I wasted quite a bit doing these. And these. Now that we have our stuff, we're going to take this and put it in the bag. Now my bags have this little thing that peels off and then you're going to flip this and stick it right here. Next thing is I have these sheets of paper, it's just like sticker paper, label paper. You want one that says, you can cut these in half too. You want one that says your address and then one that says the address that you're sending it to. So there we have it. I just write on the labels with pen, stick them on there. We got my address and the address that I'm sending it to. And there we have it ready to send. I like the sticker on there just cause then when they get it, they know what it is. We've got it ready to go. I also want to point out, this is like the low budget way of doing it. If you're doing high volume orders, you probably want to get a printer. You're going to be using Shopify or Squarespace or something like that. And they're going to give you like an actual printout label that you can do. And then you just stick it on there and then you just be able to drop it off or they might even be able to pick it up. I'm not sure, but that's for if you're doing more high volume stuff. And I use USPS because that's just the cheapest option for sending an item like this. Get your package, drop to the post office. And all you want to do is just go in and tell them, I want to ship this the cheapest way possible. Just sent the package, got my receipt. It has like the tracking number and all the information on it. I shipped this one on a Tuesday and it's supposed to arrive Thursday. So that's like two days or something. That's pretty good. And when they hand you the receipt, they'll like show you where the tracking number is at. So you can take that tracking number and put it in on Shopify or Squarespace or whatever app or platform you use to sell your products. Or if you don't use an app, you can still use this tracking code and just type it in on their website and it'll show you where it's at. It's $3.48 to send. I've seen them cheaper. I've seen it a little more expensive. It just varies a little bit, probably like on weight and where you're sending it. They'll also ask if you want insurance or like the other person to sign it or anything. I don't do any of that just because it's a cheap product. Um, if you're doing the products that are like $100, $200, then you might want to look into that. But it's just like a cheap $10 shirt, so I don't worry about that. So that's it for this one. I hope you found this helpful. Let me know if you want to see any more informational videos like this. I can do them for design or drop shipping or whatever you want to know about products for your brand. I probably have some sort of info. And hopefully you can get something out of it. Hopefully it eases the process a little bit. I know it's a little weird the first time that you're going to ship a shirt or whatever. So hopefully this can help a little bit. Thank you guys for watching.